Hello everyone, what's up? Today is another match day vlog. Bolton Wonders versus Bristol Rovers. Bolton Wonders fifth in League One. Form can say it's inconsistent, but they're doing better than what they have done in the last few years. You know, this time last year they were towards mid table um, of League One. Seasons before that they were towards bottom League Two, going to non league, and he magically, you know, got up to the playoffs. And I think he got automatic promotions on the last day. So fair play to the Wonders. I've got two bottles of Prime. I've got Brew Raspberry and I've got Ice Pop. So let's do a quick review in the car. And yeah, off to a League One game on a Friday night kick off. Unbelievable. Tomorrow might be a double vlog. I'm going to go to Bootle and then live in Remick because that might be a double vlog. Anyway, here you go. Oh my god. I know I've already tried Blue Raspberry. Continue on Dunning's Bridge Road. Thank you. For one and a half miles. Yep. Thanks for the advice. Blue Raspberry. This is the best flavour prime. In fact, you're never going to taste. It's the top of the list. It's sensational. Um, it's just the raspberry type of taste. I don't know what a blue raspberry is, never heard of a blue raspberry, but it is top notch. Ice pop. Um, yeah, FCZH got me one from America. I had that, it was nice. And then these in Height and Asda, so I've had half of one from Height and Asda, it was decent. It tastes like medicine, though, but it's fairly alright. It's at least fair to fourth place, isn't it? Still decent. Both of these have got really good taste. Anyway, we're on a Dunnings Bridge. Bolton. The score position, let's give it in. Bristol Rovers got beat in the FA Cup against the non-league side, didn't he? Um, forgot who it was. But either way, oh, that was it. Against Bournemouth. Wood. And, you know, Bournemouth Wood, they always pull off the shock. So it's not disastrous for Bristol Rovers. Plus, you can focus on the league. They've done really good compared to just getting promoted again. Struggles. Joey Barton. Bristol Rovers manager, hey, hey. So that is interesting. And anyway, I've dragged this intro too much. Today's score prediction: I'm going to go two 0 Bolton. Here's Div Daz with a haircut. Just cut his hair. Yo, two one to Bristol Rovers. No, it's one five three now. Get in there. One five three petrol. Hell. Oh my God, the floor. No, 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 no. Anyway, it's boss it's, it's, and it's <laughs> he's fuming. It's the fucking thing. He's fuming on a driver. I saw him be full of them and went, ah, fuck off, because I'm not having anyone giving shit to my dad. I went, fuck off, you knobhead. Dip Dad says 2 1 to Joey Barton's Bristol Rovers. Is that because you're scared of Joey Barton, eh? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Anyway, see us on the journey to Bolton, the Uni Bowl. I went to see Abid, the big Bolton fan who's on TikTok. He's a proper legend, speaks to me all the time. And when I can actually respond, which I can most of the time, you know, I speak to him. He's boss, he's top lad. Um, let's drop his TikTok a follow, link in the description. Um, anyway, gonna try and get in the grounds. If he's give a score prediction, and I'll put it in at the end of this video bit. Oops, sorry, pal. <laughs> but yeah, um, if he's give a prediction in, I'm gonna probably drop it at the end of this little clip. If he hasn't, then he hasn't. But, you know, it's my fault because I'm. The server was a bit bust, and I sent messages, and it's just come through late when I connected to Mackie's Wi Fi. I've got anything from Mackie, so I don't want anything, but yeah, it's freezing out here. Please, I've got my gloves. <laughs> I have a thing. But yeah, it's cold one tonight. But League One and football's back tomorrow. I've got a double vlog of Bootle Bay Northwich and then Remy, who played Paddenham with someone, I think, anyway. Anyway, come on, let's have a good game here. Yeah? And you'll be seeing Abby's on my vlog. Um, on the 27th of December when Bolton played Derby because I think I'm going to the okay, highest one in the ground where's the cars past he's off to the other door that's why <laughs> one of cars pasty here we go then got a cheese jalapeno pasty famously love it at Bolton eh um, yeah score position I'm going to go 2-0 Bolton cars pasty come on players coming out you can hear that da -da 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 -da. We can use the same music, man. Brilliant. What a seat, what a view. What a ground, what a pasty. Here we go. Joey Barton to the dugout. Very angry guy in. Bristol Rovers first play, draws a fair few up there. Compared to how far Bristol is from here. And his trap is one of the best keepers in the league. The game's kicked off as well. Cheese shall have been a pasty. The same thing reminds me of the SCAD. Just positioning the off. 
Fucking stunning now. Ten out of ten. Two ninety as well. Proper cheap. Got a football ground. Fasty. Put specs on your bottom. Oh, I've missed the waves in already. Got a made up one mil straight up. Fucking hell. <coughs> Just going away, Pasty. So they're not happy. I'm going to go already. Good minute, English, I'm going to go to the seat here. Choked on me fucking pasty. Because I was shocked. I went, <gasps> like that. Because I was surprised it was a goal. Back quick. Choked on me pasty. Crystal Rose already took the lead. What the fuck? Game bottle needs to be winning. The bottle want to get promotion. You need to focus on automatics, but... To get, you know, playoffs. At least have a chance, but... Shockingly, they're 1 0 down already. Oh, hang on. The ball's gone over now, yeah? Oh, it's in the side netting. This is an entertainer's start. That prediction's gone. In the space of like a minute, 10 seconds. Really go off like a minute, 10 seconds in. Predicted the 2 0 button, and it's already 1 0 to Bristol Rovers, so. Yeah, it's not quite happened there. Gary Speed. Happened. We remember them. Gary Speed. Everton legend. And you know what? What a player he was. May you rest in peace. Speedo! Speedo! With the toffees and remember Gary Speed. What a player. No, passed away 2011. Always sad when anyone goes. Football legend. Just back off, to say the least. Oh, James is not going to get in the way. However, Bolton, they are masters of the comeback, so they've done it plenty of times this season. But they can't keep putting themselves in this situation. You can see the intent. The intent of this game is to attack on both sides. And Bolton got forward there really good. They've got good players going forward, just need to make more advantage of that. And I think they'll do well. To pump it back in the box. Oh, that's class. Oh. oh. No one touched him, he's on the floor. The Bolton fella tackles him, brings up a line, tackles him on the side. Going forward. And he's blew up. Like, the referee is still alive and up here. Trafford's changing top, is he? What's he doing? But the referee's had a howl here. This is why I don't want Everton to go anywhere near Championship and League One. Will it happen? I don't think so. I think we've still got a decent squad. But, yeah, we have shit the AR in our league, but the referees in this league can be miles worse. Anyone a fan of Batman? Marvel, it's a decent animation, decent films. I just like the socks, you know. We've got Spider-Man, Batman, Superman. It's class. Name the rest. We're a brilliant pair of socks. I don't know why I'm going about that though. I'm not trying to be weird, I'm just trying to, you know, <laughs> explain how good these spares are anyway. Bolton are having some more good attacks now. Just the defence, you know, it's not exactly the best. Oh, it's really a bit of play. Corners in. With Tim, probably. The big lion giving it the big one. <laughs> Play a tackle the ball, he clearly got the ball. And the ref gives a foul on the yellow card, I think. But Bolton's mascot, Lion, is not happy. So was not happy. Fuck off, yeah, yeah, clearly, because I can see Bolton fans' frustration. Every time a fella's gone to the floor, ref is a foul, even when it's not. I'm not gonna lie, the referee is shit scared of Jerry Barton because it goes bam bam if the referee does not do anything on Bristol Rovers' favour. And that's exactly what this referee is doing. 
he's playing the hands of, you know, fair play to away fans. You've seen the away fans and four probably. Look at all the away fans there, you know, it's really good, which it is good, don't get me wrong. But Joey Barton mainly, when we started the shit scared of him, Joey Barton to Scally. Not that I've got a problem with Bristol Rovers and Joey Barton. I think Bristol Rovers were fantastic to brought just as many fans as Bristol City did to Wigan. It's a fair play. But definitely you should scare the Joey Barton, that's all I'm saying. Bristol Rovers, you know, on the attack. Or is it that or is it just that you all hate Bolton because it's like Everson. I bet you if Everson played Bolton. I don't know what decisions referees would have. I really wouldn't. Because referees hate Everson. He hates Bolton. So, you know what I mean? It's a bit crazy. Well, that's the true meaning. It took a long time in this game. It took 32 minutes, but it's took that much time for the fans to show the referee what they think of them. They've had patience, to be fair to the Bolton fans. And look, I'll have Bristol Rovers fans having a me, probably, I don't know. I don't want that. Your team's been good. Your team's put in a good display. Your fans put in a good display up there. Your fans being put up at the top. So it's hard for the atmosphere to generate around the stadium from your area, but I've still heard the fans. Bristol Rovers, you've had good fans here. Like I said, probably better than Bristol City because, you know, Bristol City fans, they brought quite a few to Wigan, but... Bristol Rovers, a League One team on a Friday, brought quite a lot of fans here. Never mind the fact that people have work as well, which is fantastic to bring all these fans here. And you know, I'll have Wigan fans going, oh, look, you're back in Bolton. At the end of the day, I'm a neutral fan. I support, I support one team, one team only, that's Everton. All I stuck is that one ball down from Bristol Rovers. On it in the box again. It's dangerous again. Oh, very good block, and he has to clear the danger. Well, Throwing. He's been given straight from the hands of Bristol Rovers and you know there we go. Golden goal, one minute seven seconds took for Bristol Rovers to score. It wasn't even gone straight what went on there. I think that's Barton there. Bottle fans cheating. I don't know what's happened. All I know is that he was going mad, he weren't concentrating much. The referee's gone over to him and told him off. I think he's got a yellow card, but, you know, can't be the referee stood up to him. Good little run, though. Oh, look. Look at the foul. Bolton free kick just before our time. This will be a good time to score a goal. Oh, ooh. Bad tackle. Rightly so, free kick. Half time's gone up to him. Like I said, best time scored before our time. For the now, how many minutes? I'm going to say about four. Um, four two. Three minutes. Oh, three. Well, well, fans again. Show you what they think of that decision. Blues ring around the uni ball. Half time, Bolton. Blues are 1 0. And yeah, I've been the best this half, have they? And. Who's going to the officials? have been awful. I hope Cameroon beat Brazil in the concourse. Mill nil still. Fair play, Cameroon. Hell, Brazil there. I know Brazil always improved, but they've still got a strong squad. They're the second man city, their rotation squad is something special in Brazil. Richarlison's a bicycle kick goal. What a bicycle kick that was um, against Serbia. But Cameroon looked like they held on really well. I'm looking at that. And again. And again. Ah. South Korea is magically going through there. Yesterday was probably one of the best moments of the World Cup era in history. When Costa Rica and Japan were on the brink of going through. Zoomed into that box in the streets. Prices. So a Carlin fights a good as is £3.30 or something like that. Between £3.30 and 3 90 he is £4.30. Kingstone Fest, so the alcohol I had against Manfield in the Papa John's. I got a Kingstone Press. Betty for let's say it was 390 I think or 380 and it was cheap yeah it's 490 oh, I don't know I'm gonna cheese a potato pie anyway or whatever it is or pie and pint does that work out just as cheap well I need to stop me rolling that right oh god always me who does that every fucking time I have alcohol every time I get hold of a cup I don't know how to hold of properly spills 
anyway, the fatty moan, pie and pint, 750, you're not bad, because it works out, especially with the pie, being like 350. Worth out of the pints goes down from like 490 odds to um, 4 quid to 3 pounds 90 odds. So I don't know why I'm moaning too much, just get on with it. I need, I need a drink, I need another pie because it chokes as soon as Bristol Road. Pints are cool, though. One of the best lagers you can have, 10 out of 10. I'll drink it quickly before the second half starts. I'm not allowed to stand. At any grounds, any football ground like this, but I need to stop. I need to be careful. I'm going to be starry yeah, like I was at the Salford game. Ah, oh, stop spilling it! Yeah, um, very, very decent beer. Ta-da! Finished it. Pints of pools. Sensational. Wow. Make sure to always put all this in the bin. See, Scousers are not always the bad ones, you know? Good people and bad people everywhere you go. So, we get some smart sauce. We get that on my teeth pack. We don't even have forks. Do have forks? So I'm gonna have to bite into it and burn myself. Anyway, what a tune! Second half to kick off. These pies are better than shippies. It's called, obviously, it's a cheese pie, but it's not just a normal cheese pie. Like, it isn't chippies. It's cheese for something else, but I can't remember the name, but these pies, miles better than the chippies or anything. I'm telling you, I bought them with something better. So to be fair, 350 for a pie like this. It's a full from bargain. So Bolton's food's nice, it's just the alcohol. Oh. So shoot this. Oh, lovely. Full half on the end. Well then, bowls them in the corner here anyway. That's in. Ah, so I'm saying I follow the name on whatever his name is. Not the best at pronouncing names. Oh, oh, oh my words. <laughs> that's miles better than the one that I had last time here. Yeah. I should tell us like chicken and cheese. What's sort of it? Worth every penny. That's tremendous. Oh, it's an awesome. Also, massive fair play to Bristol Rovers for being in League One. Having been mid table at the moment, as you are. Be possible to get to playoffs and win the playoffs. Play Bristol City in the big derby in the league. Because it's been so long since you've last had a derby that was in the league. Magical the way he's come up, though, in automatic promotion. He's won like 6 7 0, I think it was 7 against with a scum for. Either way, what a win that was. Got it up here. And he's had to win by seven goals. Everyone, everyone after thought, no, he's won, but he's did. And I have massive respect for that. It's like mash. Cheesy mash in a pie. They've never got mash, they've never got cheese. That is absolutely stunning. Bolton today, and for most of the time, I didn't know them. Battered with injuries. I felt sorry for them because I've known them obviously, since I'm known football. And they've been injured like loads of players this game. They've had two players come off injured already. But for Vars, now he's come off injured, who's a very good player. But Dion Charles, can he, prov can he provide the magic? Fingers crossed, or something, just. It'll be really decent. Alright. Oh, hang on. There we go. Oh. Powerful shot, blocks. I just need to have face the goal. Oh. Trap saved for Bolton, needs to be more that's happened. It's a great ball that from Trap. Oh! Brilliant ball from Trafford. Back here, Ken Winston's in box. Bolton's allowed. Offside. Yeah, where's the chance? Oh! Lovely ball. I guess having a while I said that, that's actually paid off as well. Oh! Well, 70 minutes gone. I'm, I think Bolt needs to get it forwards a bit more, needs to give the keeper something. You know, it's a 1 1 draw, at least it's better than a you know, loss. Bolt will be playing alright in the top. She needs to take a chance. Big slip up in Bristol Rovers defence! Oh my god, that should have been finished off. Back to Jan Charles' chance. 
very good save from the keeper, but she lost a little bit of power and lobbed to keep it a little bit, but it wasn't an easy chance either. You know, we got gifted to him, but there was a few defenders around him at the same time. Just the corner, nice and short. Going out good way. Brilliant tackle. Three kicks to Bolton. Three kicks in. Straight into the keeper's hands. It's not working well for Bolton today. Referee can be lift speed, but just a team performance as well. It's a wonderful throw in. Shut up, Sam. As always, thank you so much for your support. And thanks to the 775 Bristol fans That's making the journey this evening. Wishing you a safe journey on. 700 away fans. All the way from Bristol on a Friday night. Sensational, but 16,000 for Bolton as well. League One team getting 16,000. Some, some good support. You need to get it in the box. Good ball in the box. the chance needed to take five minutes left put the ball in the box like that you can have a chance to score tap it in across the keeper the keeper's going to struggle with it because he's hit it across the box so the keeper will struggle with them balls he's do more of them because someone's bound to score Bolton is, they haven't been on point in the attack today that's been a problem whether that's been because of the two injuries at the bad I don't know but if they need to get promoters which they do they're going to go for it they need to go for it because today is really a must win game. Still 1 0 to Bristol Rovers. Bolton and the rest of these been abysmal. Oh, oh. 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 to Bolton, last minute. See what John Charles done there, but cool it took on the shot. Anyway, this is the time to score. Oh, oh ball. Shit. That doesn't excuse the fact how rubbish he has been. But 
It's, it's a bit in the face. I see why he's gone down, but the way it's in the face, come on, get up. I understand Donald Backer pressure and Bolton possibly had the chance to win that then. So he's probably saved this team, you know, a few points, two points, at least he saved them. Just get some one each to go home with, but at the end of the day, I should just get up. Oh my god. This World Cup's mental. Cameroon's beat Brazil. 1 0. Cameroon are out of the World Cup. No. And, but to beat the Brazil, fair play. Oh, Abu Kar scored 90 plus 2. Was sent off 90 plus 3. Mad that. But fair play for them for trying and doing that. And they got knocked out because I think, you know, Switzerland won 3 2 against Serbia. Switzerland looked decent. Serbia, you know, they put a good shift in, but they finished passing the river. Overall then, one all draw between Bolton and Bristol Rovers. Bristol Rovers scored in the other minute. And then the defenders sat back, but had a few good attacks in the first half. And I think the manager probably just told them to sit back a little bit, drop the glove. <laughs> to to um, drop back a little bit for um, the second half. Because he probably wanted to keep them 1-0. And Jerry Barton style, that's what he probably wanted. But yeah, fair result in the end. The referee was a bit shit, but at the end of the day, 1-1, one, one, decent result, at least a point better than none for Bolton, could have went on to win it, the referee didn't do that bizarre thing at the end, but yeah, can Bolton go and go to playoffs at least, go to the championship, let me know in the comments, I think it's possible, and yeah, I hope you all enjoying the match day vlog, got a double vlog tomorrow, Bruce will be Northwich and Liverpool and I play Paddenham, I think, so tomorrow I've got a double vlog, so can't wait for that, and I'm only going to go to Bootle because look, right, Bootle, Fans are apparently a bit every week they're doing some sort of pyro welcoming for the players, which bizarre but fair play. So I want to see how that's like and yeah, without further ado, Div Dogs will see us all tomorrow on a Saturday kickoff. Bye!